In this video, we're going to be discussing about basic routing using Express Framework. Before we go further into that, let's bring up our terminal. We're going to run our server by typing node, app, and press enter. So now our server is up and running. It says your server is listening on HTTP localhost port 3000. So you want to open up our web browser and we're going to type HTTP localhost and port 3000 and press enter. We're going to receive this message, cannot get slash. The reason we receive this message is because we haven't defined, we haven't created any routes on our server. A route simply binds the URL to our application. So when we type local host port 3000 and press enter, this is what happened actually. We as the client, you know, send a request to the server. There are basically two things that we send, the endpoint or the URL, which is localhost port 3000. And the second thing is one of the HTTP request methods, such as get, post, put, delete, and so on. So when you open up a website or when you visit a website, you basically send a get method. All right, since we haven't you know, created any rounds on our server, our server doesn't know how to respond to that client request. Let's create our first route. Let's create our first route that respond to the get request sent by the client. We're going to write app.get. The first parameter is the endpoint. We're going to write slash for our homepage index. And the next parameter is a callback function, which has two parameter, uh, the request object and the respond object. In this example, we're just going to return a simple text hello world by, you know, using the respond object and the send method. We're going to send hello world to the client. Let's save the file and we're going to stop the server and restart the server again by pressing Control c to stop the server and let's restart the server by typing node app enter so let's get back to our web browser if we refresh our web browser you're going to receive this hello world you can actually add as many rounds as you want we're going to add another route but before we do that, you probably might have noticed that every time we make a change to our file, we always have to stop the server and restart again to see the change that we made. We can actually avoid doing that by installing a very useful utility called Nodemon. Let me show you how to install it. All right, let's bring up another terminal. We're going to be installing Nodemon utility by typing uh, npm install dash g because we want to install it globally, Nodemon, and press enter. And now you see that we have just successfully installed Nodemon. Let's go back to the first terminal where our server is running. Uh, we need to stop our server because we need to rerun it using Nodemon app and press enter now you see that notemon is starting to run and notemon is actually watching any changes that we make to our file we're going to test it out by adding another route app get all right the first parameter is you know the url probably another route i just want to let you know that we can also uh, write another dash route so both works okay and the second parameter is the callback function and don't forget that the callback function comes with two object 
the request in respond object okay and probably we just want to return a simple message that says um, this is another route all right now look as soon as we save the file you're gonna see down below the terminal that Notemon will automatically save and reload our server let's go straight away and save our file right now save now you see that Notemon is actually starting you know our server without us having to do it manually all right we're gonna test it out let's open up our browser and type you know slash another route and press enter this is another route it works all right currently you run notemon by typing notemon space app we can also create our own script to run notemon let me show you how let's go to package.json file and go to the scripts section we're gonna add comma here and we're gonna have a script I'm gonna name it start you can actually name it whatever you want and we're gonna run notemon space app here save the file and to run that script we want to stop the server and we're gonna rerun our server again but this time we're not gonna type notemon app anymore but instead we're gonna type npm and the name of our script which is start enter okay notemon is running now we're gonna test it out let's get back to app.js I'm gonna add another route and the endpoint probably person followed by the callback function and this time I'm gonna send you know a JSON data right which is an object message hello world name okay all right save the file and you see that nodemon is watching the change that we made and we're going to test it out by bringing up our web browser and we're going to change the URL to slash person. Look, we received the JSON data. If you want to have a nice JSON data format, you might want to install an extension called JSON Bureau. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.